and I'm back. This is Chaos Mastermind, and we're playing more Seven Days to Die. Um, it looks like it's on day eight now, so I got I, I I'm in the game longer than it said I should be. <laughs> actually, I, I read the the beginning blurb or whatever, and it actually says what the Seven Days to Die is talking about. The Seven Days to Die is actually how long it takes for you to turn into a zombie when you get bitten. So that kind of explains some of that. But, uh... I don't know if I can live in this. I'm getting just destroyed. Alright, like, look how many zombies there are right there. I'm just getting destroyed. And a gun doesn't really help. Way too many of these. There's another flashlight. There's just no way to survive this. I, mean, I could probably hide, maybe. Maybe if I hide in my own pit, they won't find me. stick. These flashlights kind of suck. I lit up this whole area to slow them. Oh god. Hey, these naked ones are creepy as hell. Oh god, he came at me from behind. It's bad they can't get set on fire by that. Whoa, hey, fell in the pit. I'm kind of disappointed that the... What the hell? Is that a bunny rabbit? It is. Oh no, he fell in the pit! The bunny rabbit fell in the spikes! Is he dead? Uh, I think he might be dead. Are there any zombies in my pit? Oh wow, there's like three of them in there. They're trying to dig their way out. I could, like, drop gravel on them, but at the same time, that wouldn't really work. Hey, they're attacking each other! There's a bunch of them now. Oh god. Fall in the pit, you guys. Fall in the pit. Oh shit. Oh my god, they just keep coming. God, they're just everywhere. Even with the torches and campfires everywhere, it's it doesn't it's not enough. I, I need a decent weapon. One that like a sledgehammer or an axe or something. Or a flamethrower, Jesus. These things just won't stop coming. Like I don't think a house is gonna do it. They're just gonna break right through that. I need... I need a... 
freaking stone wall or something. Oh man, this is just pretty hard. I feel like I want to start over and try again. Maybe I, maybe I could do better if I had, a, you know, a new, a new game. But it is letting me keep my stuff, so maybe that, maybe I should just keep going. I could, I don't have to stay in this spot. I guess I could move on and try to find a home or something. But I feel like it doesn't matter where I go. I'm gonna get destroyed. <laughs> and uh, man, it is just not easy at all. I, I don't know what they were thinking, but this game is ridiculously hard, even on the easy mode. Maybe I'm just really bad at it, but... I feel like the easy mode shouldn't be this hard. I've died like 30 times already. It's ridiculous. But, uh, you know, I, I'm probably gonna feel really awesome if I actually survive, but... Anyways, so let's, uh, start again and see what we can do. Where's my sharp stick? Pretty much all I have right now. Oh shit, that's not a sharp stick, that's a... There we go. Too many sharp sticks. So far I have yet to need food or water. Though I do die a lot. I don't know why I keep finding all these jars. There's like hundreds of them and I don't really need them. I know they're like for water, I guess, but I haven't found any water, so... I'm not sure how that's going to help me. I kinda wish the campfire did damage to me. And the uh, oh shit! Did he just headbutt me? The campfire needs to do damage to me and the zombies, that would be cool. That way I could like lead them into it. Or at least set them on fire. I mean, that would be good enough. I mean, it would damage them. And then burn me too, probably. It would be helpful. We like strategy. I think they get caught in these bushes. So that's like a good thing. pit did not work. I mean, it kind of did, but not really. Oh, pain meds. Sweet. Scrap metal. I need that. Oh, shit. I fell in my own pit. Finally. I fell in my own pit. Now I feel dumb. Really, really dumb. Oh wow, they're just like digging their way out of there. That's not good. Oh no, there's a big one now. They're just constantly attacking in the inside of the pit. They're actually digging away at it. That's cool. I don't know what to say about that. I hope it caves in on them. They're attacking each other, too. I need 
resources. Maybe I could build like a catwalk above this. From here. Like really high up. And then they would just wander into the pit. I do like the pit idea, but it doesn't work very good. Maybe if I combine the really deep pit with the spikes, then I'd be able to kill them over time. Instead of having them just roam around in there forever. can get it from these cans, too! Oh, I didn't know I could do that! Wow, I bet a lot of people are mad at me now. All this freaking scrap metal, I could have been making stuff all this time. Reinforced metal siding, that's not what I want. Can't I just make ingots? Iron ingots. Oh, there we go. Iron ingot. Ingot, 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 ingot. Alright, let's make like a... Can I make... A cooking pot. Where's a cooking pot? I know there's a way to do that. Gardening hoe? Cooking pot, here we go. Let's just make it out of metal if we can. Cooking pot, there we go. Alright, now how do I do this? Can I put this by the fire in my house? This isn't much of a house, really, but... There we go. A cooking pot. Too bad you can't, like, put it on the fire. Uh, can I cook anything in it? Where's all that meat that I had? Did I lose it? There we go. Let's try cooking this. right next to me, even though there isn't one. Unless they're all in here. Okay, this is starting to get scary that they can eventually dig out of here. Hmm. 
need more planks. Can I make like a chest? Fire axe. Fire axe, I need one of those. There we go. You can chop wood with that. Hell yeah. Let's do that since it's daytime. As much of this wood as possible. We're gonna put it in our inventory so that I don't lose it. 